Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be watching this, welcome back for another Football Manager 2018 video. This time, as you'll be able to see from the description, it is the Norwich City squad review. Why am I doing Norwich City? Well, this is my team, as you'll be able to tell from the top corner there. This is my team, and I want to bring something for Norwich fans so that they've got another way of being able to look at their squad and seeing how Football Manager rates the players, the staff, the team, etc, etc. So, as you'll be able to see from sort of going above me, Every individual player's uh, screenshot and their ratings from 0 to 20, with 20 being the best, are up on the screen at the moment. So each individual attribute is broken down and then given a rating between 0 and 20. So what, as I said, all that's going on above my head at the moment. But um, once that's all done, what we're then going to do is have a proper look at the squad and have a look at the club as a whole to see how Football Manager rates us because there's some interesting things in here that some things I don't think are true and some things I think the Football Manager have got spot on. Um, and we're also gonna have a look at the manager profile as well. It's just gonna be a nice, nice video um, and I want Norwich fans especially to leave me down in the comments section like who do you think is our best player at the moment? Do you think Football Manager have got these ratings right? You'll be able to see as I'm going on in a moment. Who's your favourite player? All that kind of stuff like that. Leave it down, as I said, in the comments section below. That'll be really interesting to see. And yeah, I'm just going to leave these players going on above my head for the time being. And then we'll be back in a moment where we actually have a look at the proper in-game uh, action for Norwich City Football Club. So now we've finished with the actual players, this, let's have a look at the proper club as, a, as an overall whole. Obviously 27,000 seat stadium, we all know about that. Um, one attribute that I do not agree with already, straight off the bat, is the fact that Football Manager have got us down as rich. We are not rich. Norrissey Football Club are not rich. We have no money. Um, we are gradually running out of it because we have been doing things wrong as a club for the past three or four years, which is why we've been up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down haven't been able to find any consistency we are not rich even in comparison to some championship teams we do not have the money anymore let's move on from that because that's going to get me annoyed facilities wise um you better see here good corporate facilities great training facilities excellent data analysis good youth facilities but from a coaching perspective adequate junior coaching and above average youth recruitment which is one of the things that Stuart Weber has said he's going to come in and change and he has loads of staff have recently left it's all going to be a slow process but we've got to get used to it as a football club uh, let's have a look at the overall squad then in terms of contractual wise because it's going to be really interesting the most valuable player in the squad is nelson Oliveira, followed by alex pritchard tim close and mario vrancic vrancic i don't agree with the rest i would probably say he's about right uh contract wise who's on the most naismith <sighs> I, I can't stand a Stephen Naismith. I don't see what he offers in terms of any, any, anything. I just don't understand it. But uh, that's followed by Tim Close and Wes Houlihan, who's currently wanted um, because he's transfer listed. So that's interesting. He's transfer listed on the game and is wanted by Alex Neal at Preston. Followed by Cron Hanley and Alex Tetty. And then Russell Martin. I mean, look at some of these contracts. I mean, no wonder we're in financial problems. Not problems, but on a downward curve. We're offering so much money. I mean, the lowest player in our first team squad is on 12 grand a week. That says it all. Look at some of these wages. It's ridiculous. I mean, what has Josh Murphy done to deserve an 18 grand a week contract? Why is Jerome still on 20? Why is Vrancic on 20? Why is Wiltshire on 20? Matt Jarvis, 23. Russell Martin, 23. Tetty, 25. Hanley's now on 25. The, the, some of these wages are just ridiculous. Um, but anyway, we move on. In terms of contract expiry, obviously Gunn and Reed are going to be going back from their loan spells. The only two people to expire this year are going to be Wes Houlihan and Tom Tribal. Tribal will be offered a new contract, no doubt about it. The guy's been an absolute revelation this season. 
Uh, Wes, I'll be very surprised if we don't offer him a contract until he retires. Just let him play out his, you know, his finishing career, etc. Uh, at the moment, our current captain is Russell Martin, but according to the game, it should be either Grant Hanley or Tim Close who are our captains and leaders of this team. Uh, I personally agree with that. I don't understand what Russell Martin offers as as a whole. I don't get what he offers from start to finish on the playing pitch, off the pitch, blah, blah, blah. Yes, he works hard. whoop de do. Anybody can work hard. But he, technically, he's not good enough. Anyway, enough of the Russell Martin rant. Uh, Injury-wise, let's have a look who is currently injured. Um, Conditional-wise, we've got a lot of people out injured at the moment. And these are the time scales on them. Let's have a look at the under-23s and see what's going on in there. We've got, obviously, Remy Matthews is going to be our future number one. No doubt about that in my mind. Sean Ragg out on loan at the moment. Norwich fans will be interested to see about this guy. Um, tackling Mark and heading is good. He's got some good attributes, but he's, the rest of them are bang average for what you would expect in League 2. Uh, Harry Toffolo is currently out on loan. I don't know whether or not he's going to make it, but he's out on loan at the moment. Got Adam Phillips who signed on a free transfer, bang average stats. Savas, bang average stats. Uh, Glenn Middleton, I've already talked about this guy in a uh, top 10 hidden gems video. Absolutely amazing talent, is going to go on so far in the game. Need to keep an eye on him in real life. Then we've got our three strikers, Pierre, who's a good target man, poor composure. Tristan Abrahams, I don't think anybody knows an awful lot about this guy, which is why his stats are so poor. Not good at all for him. And we've got Colson Morris who should be recalled in real life and back into the first team because Nelson Oliveira can't stay fit and Jerome cannot do it on his own for the rest of the season. So we need Colton Morris back or go out and sign somebody. Simple as that. Um, under 18s wise, I don't, mm, there's not really much in the under 18s at all to, to write home about, which is why we're currently going through the development that we are. But if we have a look at uh, so what is the thing I'm looking for? Attributes wise, no. General info? No, I'm not. I'm looking for something in particular. Full player status, no. Selection info, no. It's around here somewhere. Reports, that's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. Christ. Um, so, at the moment, our most valuable players in terms of ability are Oliveira and Pritchard. No question at all on that. Are easily our two best players. It's then followed by a lot of three and a half star players all the way up from Wes Houlihan upwards. It's then followed by three star players, etc, etc, and goes all the way down. Potential wise, if we get the under 23s and the under 18s involved in here as well. Potential wise, the game believes that Glenn Middleton has got the most potential out of any player in our entire squad, which is fair enough. Angus Gunn, Toffolo, that's an interesting one. I don't... I don't know if I agree with that. I think he's a very good player. He can be a good player, but to potentially get the four and a half star marker, that's a that's pushing it a bit. One player I do agree with though, James Madison, easily one of the best talents in the championship at the moment. And he will get snapped up for anywhere between 15 to 20 million within the next couple of years. Bye bye, James Madison, because he's too good for our club. Unless we get to the Premier League, he will be gone. Mark my words on that. Uh, Josh Murphy is at a three and a half star at the moment. Could go up to four star. Obviously, his physical attributes are his main main asset in terms of his pace and acceleration, etc. Uh, Godfrey's in there. Adam Phillips is in there as well in terms of potential ability. Um, if we scan down, and then there's quite a few players from our under 18s in there, which is interesting. Um, not very good at the moment, but the potential potential is there but if we have a look at staffing wise because I think this is crucial this is one thing that did annoy me is that we've got an assistant manager we've got a coach and that's it that's it we don't have a fitness coach we don't have a goalkeeper coach nothing we don't have any of those things we are falling massively behind as a club because we're paying all of our emphasis into the playing side of it and not concentrating on what they're doing during the week and this is annoying me no end but I'm sure Stuart Webber will get things sorted so I need to calm down let's have a look at his stats actually judging player ability and potential both have 15 
yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I think he's a very, very good director of football, has proved himself at Huddersfield and will prove himself at Norwich. Just needs a little bit of time. Just needs a little bit of time. Um, let's have a look at Daniel Farker because obviously I'm now the Norwich manager, so I can't have a look at him um, without clicking on him as a coach. Uh, so we've got defending at 13, tactical and working with youngsters. I would agree with that as his main attributes. That's fair enough. Um, makes early tactical changes, uses zonal marking, fits players into preferred tactic, use counter-attack, hires director of football, um, expect passing and expect strong youth development. I hope that happens in real life because we desperately need to revamp our youth team and make that the main focal point of our club. But that's enough from the match, uh, from the match day experience. That's enough from uh the squad report for norris c so leave me down in the comment section norwich fans who is your favorite norris c player who do you think's got the most potential do you agree with the players statistics on here do you think somebody needs an upgrade somebody needs a downgrade let me know down in the comment section i'll be really interested to hear what you all have to say and until we see each other next time as always 